guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing, it means a lot guys. Today we are going to be working on that BMW, the 3 Series E90 model from 2006 to 2013. As you know we got this one smashed from the car auction and in this video guys we will demonstrate how to remove the hood on it. So if you have a Beamer 3 Series from 2006 to 2013 that will be the procedure. We just picked the replacement hood from a salvage yard, we need to clean it a little bit but Stay with us to do that. Okay guys, please check out our new channel Electrical Car Repair Life. Quite a few videos coming there, diagnosing electrical systems, engine codes, airbag codes, engine lights, things like that. We're trying to feed the channel quite a bit, so what we're going to need guys first, okay, 10 millimeter socket, okay, and we need to disconnect, okay, that ground wire. Okay, right there. So, just go ahead, do that, careful not to drop the bolt because it's a very, very short bolt. After that we need to disconnect, okay, we need to disconnect the shocks and how you do that, okay, right here, you need to pry that piece out, careful not to pop out of there and hit you in the eyes, okay, because that's spring loaded. So we'll need to get a small screwdriver, okay, you need to lift it up. Okay, like that. And you pull it out. Okay, you can see how the piece came out. The same procedure needs to be applied on this side. Okay, let me just zoom in a little bit because I'm holding the hood on this side. Okay, we pull the spring out and now we pull the shock. So, now we need 11 millimeter socket. And for that job guys, you're going to need two people to do that because you don't want to break your windshield. Okay, so now, okay, what we need to do right here, we need to remove only the back bolt with 11 millimeter socket on each side. Okay, hold it good. Now the same thing on the other side. Then the top bolt, just get it loose, don't take it off. Okay, like that. After that you just slide it forward and you can go ahead and pull the whole hood out of there. So you can see guys, okay, that's how you do it. You can see the hinge right here, you have the slot for the top bolt to go through, so that way you don't drop it on the windshield but still be very careful. So thank you for watching and see you guys next time. 